Hey guys, I got a lot of questions the other day about my vacuum gauge. This is new to me, and I said it's one of the best I've ever had, or one of the best on the market. So I've got to pull a vacuum on my recovery drum. So I thought this would be a good time to go over and talk about the um, home zone, Appion AV760. Stay tuned. All right, first I want to show y'all one thing I like about it. Um, when you first start it up, it gives you a countdown and then it's going to show you the microns, even though we're at atmospheric pressure. And look at that, 760,000 microns. gonna plug this up I just pumped all this into my big recovery drum all right so we're still at 760,000 microns so you know immediately when this thing starts pulling the vacuum you can see it you ain't got to wait five or ten minutes for it to start showing microns it shows them right off the rip Come on. Let's open this up. And look at that. You can tell immediately that you're pulling a vacuum quickly. That's something that I like. So let's start a timer. See how long it takes to pull down into a deep vacuum. All right, this is where you would normally see a micron gauge pick up about 10,000 microns. When I'm done, I'm going to show you one of the reasons I really like this one. And it's something that's in here. I'm going to take it apart and show you. It also has an app. Let me go back. Evacuation. Let me see if I can turn this on. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the app. <clears throat> if I can get this to pull up. Boy. All right, so I can read my microns, my battery level. We can do um, a decay test, evacuation targets. All right, so we are starting this at two, 2,600 microns. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to this in just a second, but this is basically what the app looks like. Alright, it's saying my dehydration is 29% complete. And um, I had to reconnect because I walked out of range. <clears throat> and you can see that it's slowly getting to my target. I'm going to show you some things about the app. You can click on this and go to the micron gauge settings. Set your units. Your vacuum alarms, put that on the high. data logging, Bluetooth options, auto connect, and then on this you can auto scale it so that you can see if your vacuum is falling. And this is. And then at the end, you can export your 
your vacuum readings. All right, I'm down to a deep vacuum, so I'm going to we're going to turn that off and turn this other side off. And I'm going to take the bottom of this micron gauge apart to show you what I like about it. Okay, this right here comes with this. You got a shredded depressor on one end. But the part that I like is this. You know how hard it is to clean the sensor on some of the others? This has this little piece. It, it feels like some kind of cotton or something to prevent oil spray. If you accidentally expose this to pressure to prevent oil spray from reaching the sensor. And you can you can replace these. You can probably clean them but um that to me was a really nice touch because getting that sensor dirty with some oil on it is a really common problem with me and with some of them like my mg44 it never did go back to even though i cleaned it it never did go back to reading like it used to so i really like that you can pull that out and then more easily clean the sensor and you can replace that little cotton like film right there that to me was a nice improvement got to mention there is also another filter right there so unless you it just makes it a lot harder for um oil to get on the sensor and like I said, that has been a huge problem on every one of these Micron gauges I've had. Well, guys, that is so far my favorite Micron gauge. I hadn't tried the other one that people have been recommending, Blue something or another. But um, between me and Riley, that's our favorite so far. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.